What's going on guys, Irish Welt here, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a crazy few months, uh, both on a personal level and with the markets in general. On a personal level, we ended up buying a house a few months ago, uh, which explains the lack of uploads. Um, I've been trying to get stuck in with a lot of the DIY tasks myself uh, to try and save a little bit of money. So that's been consuming a lot of my spare time. And then in terms of the markets, we've got inflation going absolutely out of control. We've got the Fed raising interest rates and we've got the conflict with uh, Russia and Ukraine. So I thought it'd be a good time to try and do a, a portfolio update for you guys. Let's jump straight into the portfolio. Uh, it's currently valued at uh, just over 9,600 euro and we're actually down about uh, 340 euro or 3.4%. Now, if we just look back on the one year time frame, you can just see how volatile my portfolio has been. In the good times, we've been up, you know, anywhere close to a thousand euro, um, and in the bad times, we've been down anywhere around twelve hundred to fourteen hundred euro. So, uh, the market started to pick back up, um, the last couple of days, especially with the clarity over the interest rate hikes, um, from the Fed. They've raised the money uh, a quarter of, per of a percent, uh, so that seems to have kind of settled the markets and given a bit more confidence. So in terms of what I've been buying the last few months, I've really just been doubling down on my high conviction plays, um, really doubling down and trying to lower my cost basis as much as I can. So we'll just go through all of my holdings here now. Uh, so we've just got two shares of Apple. I haven't really had much of an opportunity to add more to Apple, as I saw that there was just better opportunities elsewhere. Um, with Block or Square, as it was formerly known, um, I've increased my holding to 8.75 shares and um, it's taken off quite nicely in the last sort of week or so up nearly 30% so very happy with that and um, just you know my buying is starting to actually um, pay off now uh, which is really good. Neo I haven't added any more to this position just around there was a lot of uncertainty in the market in general and especially when you're holding Chinese stocks I just thought it, it wasn't worth the risk adding more to NEO. Um, so that's kind of stayed at, at just over 11 shares and I'll probably just keep it at that um, for the foreseeable future. Orion Office, um, that was just a spin-off from Realty Income. Anyone who had uh, 10 shares got one share of Orion. Um, I haven't seen any need to sell it. It's not really worth it at the moment. So I'm just holding on to that share. Uh, now Palantir has been a stock that I've really doubled down on. I think since my last update I've probably added you know 120, 130 shares. So our holding here is up to 165 shares just over that. Uh, currently valued at um, 18.87 uh, and we're down 30%. Uh, but you can see in the last week we're up about 10%. But Honestly, the, the kind of short term uh, price action of Palantir doesn't bother me in the slightest. I think uh, at its worst, I was down probably 13 or 1400 euro on this position. Um, but for me, this is a five to 10 year hold. Uh, I honestly couldn't care less about the price action here. Um, so I'll continue to buy um, around these levels, but I won't be buying as heavily. And I'm also conscious about it being uh, my biggest holding at the minute as well. Um, so I do need to kind of balance out my portfolio as well. The next uh, holding here is Realty Income. I've just been consistently buying maybe a share or two every month or so. Uh, we're up to 16.5 shares here now. And I'm currently getting about three euro a month um, in dividends out of this as well, which is really nice. So Realty Income is just going to be one of those that I'm just going to continue to kind of dollar cost average into. And, you know, we're still a fair bit down from our all time highs as well. It pays a really nice percentage dividend. So this for me is just a, a nice long term hold. Uh, Tattooed Chef, I haven't added any more to this position. Uh, currently down 30 percent. Um, again, this is one that I probably won't be adding any more to. Um, but I'll just be holding for the long term. Now, Tesla is another one. I've um, tried to lower my cost basis here. Um, I've been buying really anything under $1,000 a share. I've been buying, um, I haven't been buying huge chunks of it, 
um, as I've been allocating most of my capital to Palantir. But we're up to uh, 2.3 shares of Tesla now, or 1,870 euro, and we're up uh, just under 23%. So happy enough with that performance. Obviously, we're up a lot more uh, when the stock was up around 1,200. Um, but, you know, around these levels, it's a great buying opportunity, I think. And what's my cost basis there? We'll just see uh, $754. So I've got a very good cost basis. And honestly, I don't mind that increasing as I think Tesla is just going to be a hold for five to ten years at least. In fact, I may never sell my Tesla shares. So I'd be looking to try and get this up to three shares in the really short term uh, and then hopefully try and build it to five to ten shares in the kind of mid to long term. Um, and then we go to my ETFs, which have been my consistent best performers in the portfolio. Uh, we've got the All World ETF, which I haven't really added too much more to. We're up at 11%, which is great. And then we've got my High Dividend Yield ETF um, that I'm up uh, just, just under 9% on. And then we've got the uh, S&P 500, which I'm up just over 30%, which is great. So I haven't been adding too much to my ETFs uh, just because I've seen better opportunities in my individual stocks but now that the market is is recovering i'll probably rotate a little bit more into my uh, dividend and etf uh, plays and then i added uh, walgreens boots uh, so i just have just under five shares here and we're up uh, around just over four percent uh, which i'm happy enough with uh, walgreens play a really good uh, dividend I think it's in and around the four percent yeah just under four percent dividend yield which is great um and I just think at, at the current price this is this is a long very long term hold so I'll be happy to uh, pick up shares here and there uh, to get that four percent dividend so that's the portfolio and um, it's obviously doing all right now compared to a couple of weeks ago um but as you can see, a lot of these plays are very long-term plays, and I mean like five to ten year plays. So short-term price action really isn't affecting me. And I just took the last couple of months as opportunity to really double down on my high conviction plays, and it's starting to pay dividends now. So quickly just looking at my three portfolio pies that I've got. I've got my uh, dividend portfolio pie, which is up uh, just over 6%, which is great. Um, currently have three holdings in here. Now I will be looking to add probably one or two more stocks to this list um, in the so sort of short to medium term. Um, I'm not looking for a massive dividend portfolio. Um, I just want a handful of high good quality dividend paying stocks that will kind of diversify and balance out my portfolio in different market conditions. Um, so yeah, I'll be on the lookout doing a bit of research for a couple of more stocks here, uh, but I won't be going crazy on dividend stocks as it's not really my strategy. Um, then my ETF holdings, very happy with that, up 20%. Um, I'll be looking just to dollar cost average as much as I can into these over the uh, medium to short term. And then growth stocks um, is what's dragging the portfolio down at the minute. And, um, you know, we're, we're hugely weighted as well just over five grand here and we're down uh, 14 percent uh, which I'm absolutely fine with and um, it just means that I've got more opportunity to lower my cost basis on my favorite stocks and um, and I still feel like there's going to be a lot more volatility in the market especially in the kind of short to medium term so plenty of opportunities to get some bargains out there and um, but yeah so that's the portfolio and um, just thought I'd, I'd give a, a quick little update on where things are at. Uh, things are recovering nicely now, um, but definitely still a lot more opportunities out there in the market as well. So thanks a million for watching, and I hope to be back to you guys soon. Uh, leave a like and a comment uh, as well on the video. I really appreciate it. And let me know how your portfolio is performing at the minute. Thanks a million, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.